Hi, I'm Dan. I welcome to Airbrush Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to be painting and putting a really cool effect on this 3D piece of metal art. Sent to me by a good friend of mine that I met down at the Drew Blair School of Realism, Jim Philippak. I was really excited when the Phillies made the World Series this year. And they fell a little short, but to top off a great season, what shows up in my mail is this really cool Phillies 3D piece of metal art that Jim wanted me to paint. So I couldn't appreciate it more. So I'm going to paint this up today. I'm going to put a really cool effect on it. I'm going to be putting a crystallized, old school crystallized effect on it with a piece of cellophane. I'll show you how to do that. I know there's products out there in cans that will give you the crystallized effect, but if you don't have a can of that sitting on your shelf like I don't and spur the moment you want this effect, I'm going to show you how to do it. And then I'm going to top it off with a candy. So if that's something you're interested in, Please stick around, consider subscribing, hit that bell so you get future notifications. A couple comments, good or bad, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. A thumbs up will be great. And with that, let's get started. All right, today before we get started, the winner of the Cordis Compressor Airbrush Kit is Bubba6 Richards. Bubba, you have a week to get back to me. You can get back to me at dan at the airbrushgarage.com. So you could drop me your uh, address so I could get this sent out to you. Congratulations. Bubba was selected with the random pick generator. So I looked up his comment and he says he's going to give it to his 14 year old so she could airbrush alongside with him. That's really good to hear. Good luck with it, Bubba. Hope you enjoy it. All right. So a quick couple notes before I get started. If I didn't mention in the intro, I'm going to be putting Jim's information down below. So if you want to purchase any of this art painted or unpainted, you can get in contact with Jim. So the first thing I did is I disassembled all the pieces because first of all, you got to clean this metal. I mean, it's metal. Let's face it. It gets oily, you know, attracts dust, dirt. You really want to clean your surface before you start. As you can see, I used just a Dupy Color automotive prep cleaner. It's a foaming cleaner. And you can see the dirt that this thing picked up off of the piece. Okay. So it's metal. It's going to happen. Then once my surface was clean, I took some fine line tape. And I taped out or made a little border because I need a little border on this. So you want to do your taping, you know, after you're done cleaning, make sure all the surfaces are dry. So this is going to be a lot easier to work on disassembled like this. All right. So before we get started, I just want to go over a couple of things you're going to need to do this project. So of course we got our metal art, but you're going to need some plain old clear plastic wrap. The new stuff out on the market today has a sticky side to it. You don't want to use that. That's a nightmare. Just get some plain old clear plastic wrap. Some good old generic stuff. It's not that expensive. The other thing I'm going to want to do is the crystallized effect is usually done with a silver paint. Well, this is already silver, so silver is not going to go well over silver. So I'm going to mist some black on here to give myself a background in order to put the silver on to make the crystallized effect. So you can do this one of two ways. You can use you know, airbrush paint, this paint is black, which I'm probably going to use for the black. When it comes to the silver, you can use silver metallic to wick it, which is fine. Or you could just do quick down and dirty, some good old Krylon silver metallic spray paint as well. And that's what I'm going to be using today. Once that's all dry and that's done, we're going to put the candy on it, we'll put it back together. And we'll see what it looks like. So stick around. All right. So I got my wicket opaque jet black loaded up here in my gun, about a quarter of a cup, nothing much. Hit it with a little of the 4011 reducer. So I'm just going to put a light coat of this on. You just need something as a backer for the silver. And I really love the swirls Jim puts in his artwork here on his metal art. So I'm going to try to maintain as much of that as possible.
All right, so we'll let that dry and we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the crystallize effect. All right, so now I have a piece of plastic wrap, one big enough for the background, one big enough for the top of the bell, and one for the Phillies logo. Now, you could do this with plastic wrap. That's what I prefer to do it with. I've seen people do it with newspaper. I actually did it with newspaper. A lot of you are spray paint artists out there that want to texture things, use newspaper. It's a really cool effect as well. It's basically the same effect. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to take this, and this is why you don't want to use the plastic wrap that has a sticky back on it, that new stuff that they have out, because you're going to want to kind of crinkle this all up, and it's a lot easier to get apart, and it's going to give you some creases in there versus this nice smooth flat plastic. So again, crinkle it up. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray, again, you could use airbrush paint for this as well. All right, so again, I got Krylon metallic silver here. You could use any rattle can spray paint that you would like. All right, so I'm just gonna take my silver, I'm gonna lay it on here and I want it to be wet. I don't want a dry spray. I want it to be nice and wet so I can create this effect. And this is gonna stay wet for a little while. The airbrush paint will dry a little quicker you're going to have to make sure if you use the airbrush paint that you lay it on a little heavier. So you're going to want to lay on your plastic. Pat it down. You see all of the wrinkles that you're getting in there. You could do different things. You could pick this up and put it back down depending on the effect that you want. So there you go. So if you're not happy with that, it's going to be in the background. I'll just show you because it's going to be underneath the belt, so it doesn't really matter. You could even take like crinkled up parts. You can dab and pull some off, pull some out. But that gives you a really cool effect. It's that easy. And with that metallic, that's really going to come cool with the, uh, with the candy. Let's press that on. You could even crinkle some of it up a little more, depending on what you want. You can play around with it even a little bit. It's just, it's pretty forgiving. I like that. That looks super cool. Like I said, that's going to look really cool once it's uh, got the candy on it. And then, you know, say you don't like it and you go, you know what? I want a little bit different of effect. Again, you can re-hit it. Take your plastic, put it back on. Peel it back off. So again, as you can see, I mean, it's a real fun to do this because you just really can't get in much trouble with it. Crinkle that one up a little bit more. Really give that one a really, a little bit more of a bolder effect on that one. I like it. 
All right, so we're just going to let this dry. This is going to take a good hour to dry. I may even come back tomorrow if it gets too late today, and we'll put our candy on then. We'll put it all back together, and we'll see how cool this thing really does look. All right, so everything's dry now. We're getting ready to put our candy or mix our candy up. So I'm going to be using for the background, I'm going to be using Caribe Blue. That's C-A-R-I-B-E Blue. That's the Candy 2O. And the other Candy 2O I'm going to be using is Blood Red. You can't just spray candies alone. You need a carrier for them. And if any of you guys watch my videos on how to mix candy, you would know that we're going to be using the UBLS Clear Gloss. It's 4050 gloss. And this mix, because I'm going to be putting it through an airbrush, is going to be one to one. It's a different ratio through a spray gun, but we're going to be putting it through the airbrush today with a 0.35 needle, which would be the Eclipse. And then we're going to finish it off with a little bit, maybe about 10% of the 4011 reducer. So let's get that mixed up and I'll see you in a minute. All right, we're back and I got them both mixed up. I got about a quarter ounce of the blood red and I have about a little over a half ounce of the blue. Now I'd rather mix more than not enough. And the reason for that is after you're done mixing these up, you want to let them sit for 10 minutes. So if I was to run out, I'd have to mix it back one to one and then wait around 10 minutes. Createx recommends that you wait around 10 minutes once you mix these up to let everything emulsify together and it really does matter. One last note is you can hear the marble inside. And again, any product, whether it has a marble or not, I always recommend you shake it up. But you want to shake up your UVLS clear really well and the same with your candies. So let's load up the guns and put some candy on. All right, so I got my blue loaded up here in my Iwata Eclipse. So now when it comes to candies, I'm going to put a minimum of three coats on, three light coats. With an airbrush, I could possibly go to five, but we'll see what it looks like after three. I want to do about a 50% overlap here. And get it on as even as possible. And you're going to go through a lot of pain here because I'm down with the air and full back with the trigger. I'm about four to five inches away from the surface. And the other key to candy is you're gonna to wanna to let this dry between coats. You don't wanna be going wet on wet. So now while that's drying, I have the luxury of having more than one airbrush. So I'm going to load up the red in another airbrush and we'll spray the Phillies logo. So the cool part about candy, I think, is the more you put it on, the deeper it gets. I mean, I've never candied anything where I didn't put at least three coats on. I usually like to go probably more, even toward the five coat range. But I think with this crystallizing, I'm going to probably stick with three, being this is my second one. I'm kind of getting what I like out of it right here. If you notice too, I'm spraying down, so I have my cap on. I don't spray a lot with the color cap on, but when I'm spraying down over my project like this, I do. And 
All right, so we're ready for our third and what I believe to be the final coat. I want to make sure I'm nice and even out around my edges because the middle is not as critical because most of that's going to be covered up with the bell. But I still want to try to get this on as even as possible. One more coat with the red. You just see how that deepens up with every coat. It's really cool. Candies are so beautiful. Well, all right, there you have it. Got two coats of the Krylon Clear on here. It's a gloss crystal clear. I'm not quite sure how the lights are picking up on everything here, but as you can see, it's all back together. I absolutely love the way it came. I want to thank Jim again for sending me this piece and allowing me to paint it. Don't forget, I'm going to be putting Jim's email down below so you can get a hold of him, so you can get some of his cool metal art as well. Just remember, Jim will paint it for you, or he'll send it to you, and you can paint it yourself. He does a fantastic job with all of his metal art. He even puts hangers on the back here for you. So when you're done, you can hang it right up. So I'm really happy the way this project came. I hope you learned something. If you did, you guys know the drill. Consider subscribing. Hit that bell. Comments. A thumbs up. Click on them links down below. It all really helps this channel grow. We're almost at 10,000. We're getting closer every day. I really appreciate all you guys tuning in. And with that... We'll see you in the next video.